What's up guys? We're about to go into Rima 1000 and go grocery shopping here in Norway. This isn't our first time going grocery shopping. We've went to a couple different supermarkets throughout our trip, but it is the first time that we've really like dove in. We're really excited to take you guys with us because from the little experience that we've had going into the supermarkets, it is really fun and it's quite different than our experience in the States and where we live currently in Germany. Mommy, can you hold this? Yeah. So the current exchange rate from a Norwegian kroner to US dollar is about 10 kroner per dollar. So it's really easy to just move the decimal point for the sake of being easier math. So these cherries, I know that cherries are in season right now. Um, and this little bucket is 100 kroner for this. It's probably about one kilo, but uh, yeah, that's kilo. pretty pricey. <laughs> Two avocados for about $3. Do you see any exotic produce? No, honestly, pineapple is the most exotic fruit that I've seen right now. Some melons, maybe? Like, maybe this other melon here. You see how cheap they are, Mama? Let's see the price. I don't know how cheap this is the definition. 32 kroner for that little one. Maybe we can get some. Do you want to eat some? Yes. It looks like a lot of the fruits here are from like other parts of Europe or even some parts of Africa and South America. But there are a lot of produce that is here local from Norway, like I've been seeing the cucumbers, I believe that some of the tomatoes as well. One thing I find that's kind of interesting is that the red peppers here are much cheaper than the green, yellow, orange, and in the States it's actually different. Like the green bell peppers always seem to be cheapest. Um, in Germany, we actually buy like a pack that's like red, green, and yellow, and that's the cheapest. But here, you buy them individually, and not only that, but they are individually wrapped, which I find kind of interesting. Oh, that one's kind of moldy, but anyways, I was surprised to find that red was cheapest. Whoa, that light is really bright there. <laughs> so right behind me here, we have some of the other fresh produce. A lot of this is from Norway, and one thing that we do notice is that Potatoes are a large staple here, at least in the grocery stores, it seems like it. In other places, we've actually seen big bags of like potato flakes, uh, which is kind of cool to see for like mashed potatoes. So why did we choose Rima 1000? Well, the reason we chose this one is because it's one of the cheapest supermarkets here in Norway, and it's one that's frequented by a lot of Norwegians. In fact, it seems like everywhere we've traveled to here in Norway, we're like seeing these. They're all over. One interesting thing just about Norway in general is that we read that there's a lot of competition for groceries here in Norway and that the number of grocery stores per capita is usually a lot higher here in this country than what most people are used to. So we had a local kind of give us a list from cheapest to most affordable supermarkets and in this person's opinion it was Boon Pri and then Kiwi and then Rima 1000, after that Rima 2000 and then Co-op. That's kind of like least expensive to most expensive. Online however it said that Rima 1000, Co-op Extra, and Kiwi are considered to be low price supermarkets. So again, we're talking about one of the cheaper supermarkets. You don't want to get this? No! You made it to the fish section. This is where the fun really happens in a Norwegian grocery store. I have no idea what fish pudding is and what this other thing is, but so interesting. It's so fun for us to just like walk around in this freezer fish section and just realize there's so many products that we've never even heard of and want to try them all. We don't have a freezer, so we're kind of limited, but it would be fun to try some of these. We did have shrimp one night, and it was for sure the best meal of the trip so far, just making that in our little van kitchen. Fish cakes, salmon burgers, a whole bunch of things in these jars that I don't even know what exactly they are. It's really fun. It looks so good. It does look good. It's only five bucks. Yeah, that is actually seemed like a good price. So I was just talking to the lady asking about Brunost or like the brown cheese and it turns out that the other store, the other Rima 1000 that we were going to go to, like down in the main shopping area right by the river, it's actually all closed because of the flood so it's a good thing we came here first. It's raspberry and it's blueberry. I can't believe it doesn't have milk. Another interesting thing is that Norway does not have a Lidl or an Aldi. So coming from Germany, we see those all over. Those are kind of like the main supermarkets. We do love a good Edeka though. That's kind of our main one. However, in Norway, 
they don't have them here. It says that they used to have a Lidl in the years in like 2004 to 2008, and they opened up like 50 stores all across Norway, but did not manage to get more than like one to 2% of the market share. And so clearly Norwegians didn't really wanna be shopping there and they've ended up closing them all. So kind of interesting. Rima 1000 actually bought all of those Lidl stores in 2008. So now maybe that's why there's more Rima 1000s. I don't know. So I asked one of the ladies here which brown cheese I should get because there were quite a few options and some big blocks. This is one, it's not too much, uh, about 150 grams and it's commonly eat, like, as a, eaten as a snack on like bread and stuff. What we've read online is that it's made from like milk byproducts of whey. Yep, it's brown, yep. And the lady told me that she didn't eat it all that often but we're gonna give it a try anyway, because we heard it's very popular. Is it I'm not entirely sure. My Norwegian is not the uh, <laughs> top language that I've been studying lately. So chicken here per kilogram is 187 Norwegian kruna. So, like $18 for one, two, three, maybe five chicken fillets. Kind of pricey. Tanner. I know, I saw they had little schnitzel here for... I have no idea how much. Ah, 34 krona for two little schnitzels. Like almost any supermarket, you have like a discount brand. It sounds like these ones here are called like First Price, Extra, or Prima. These are kind of those discount brands and that almost all of the stores in Norway are gonna carry that. Look for those prices as well if you're trying to keep your trip to Norway fairly cheap and affordable. This is one thing that we've seen and I'm guessing we'll see when we walk in the store is that pretty much all of the grocery stores have like a discount area in within the supermarket and these are like a weekly selection of items that need to be sold um, and oftentimes they're like significantly cheaper. And can I say we actually did buy an item from this section and it was a major fail. We got some pudding and yeah. We'll just add that clip here briefly for you to see. Show them what we got. Some Aka. discount. Akaha. <laughs> Chocolate milk. Chocolate pudding. It's the piano brand. It's on clearance, baby. Old, old. <laughs> this is thick. And it looks thick. Interesting. I'm a pudding person. That is probably the least. I like it. Appetizing looking. <laughs> I want to eat it. I want to eat it. <laughs> Ever. Yum, yum, yum. Maybe it's just because it's old, but it's like it's hard to like mash together. It. Like it just kind of like breaks, which is the weirdest consistency. It's really. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> the worst pudding I've ever had. <laughs> Interesting experience, but hey, it was a good price, and it has been fun to walk through a little bit of the discount sections and see what's available for that week. Iced tea. You want to see it? That's caviar. It doesn't look like toothpaste. Yeah, it looks like toothpaste. It's only like two US dollars for that. Interesting. I always think of caviar as being quite expensive. You can try it. I don't know, this is a big tube and I've heard that it smells quite strong. So I don't know if I'm going to get this big. If there was a smaller one, for sure. Kind of fun, you can buy like soup in a bag and it seems like it's like all made. You just need to like warm it up, which is cool. We have seen a lot of these tortilla looking breads, but they're actually potato breads. Quite the selection, we can tell it's very popular. And we've tried two different kinds. I'm probably gonna get another one just to try to see how different they are. Yeah, you can definitely tell that there are some different thickness, like these down here, a little thicker, compared to these are like a little bit more of like a, a Mexican style tortilla that like we're used to seeing like in the States. I've also noticed that they have a lot of these pita breads. Some are in the freezer, some are above. That's our kid. <laughs> but um, kind of fun. They're definitely like a fun consistency they look like and a polar road, kind of fun. That's the one we got. That's the one we got last time. Hot commodity, all gone, but I still think we're gonna grab some shrimp. Mm. This bread looks so good. What is that? Yogurt. Yep, yogurt. Look, you can buy some yogurt in a bag. 
We really like their bags here. So we meet again. We just tried last night our other fish, mackerel, um, herring, and sardine. I'm excited to go back here today, get the ones that I like, avoid the ones that I don't like, and I actually really liked the mackerel and tomato sauce when we were here last time, so we'll be getting some of these. I love, look how cute these are. Look at this. What is it? It's like a little toothpaste of Nutella and jam. <coughs> That's cat food. They have a pretty large Mexican section, actually. When we went to Switzerland, it was like very, very small. And even in Germany, it is not this large, at least the supermarkets where we live. And um, yeah, kind of fun to see. I wish I had like a Norwegian bestie so she could tell me what kind of hazelnut cream I should get because they do have Nutella here, which I mean, can you really top Nutella? I don't know. We have tried the white and milk chocolate mixture that our German friends loved and they prefer it over Nutella, but we personally don't, Mommy, but they have a lot of fun Mommy, options here. Look at this chocolate. I know. That one says it's a original. I'm putting just a quick pause on the Norway supermarket tour, which I hope you're loving, but I just have to tell you about these water bottles. I think the universe must be on our side. We've been in dire need of some water bottles, and we finally got our hands on some. These are all from Super Sparrow, and I kid you not, they are top-notch water bottles. You can see a wide variety of different kind of water bottles here, but the ones that I really want to tell you about are these ones. They partnered with the Berlin Marathon to make these two water bottles. It's like a one-hand opening, super easy, super slick. On the inside is an insulated stainless steel. The thing I love about this is it has like a soft bottom, so you can set it there. It makes it so it doesn't slip, and it just doesn't make a noise. It's quiet. The Berlin Marathon is happening in one week, so September 24th. Keep your eye out for that to go support if you're in the nearby area, or maybe you can do last minute signups. I don't know. But what I do know is that these water bottles are awesome. Okay, well back to the supermarket because you guys have got to see what we find next. One thing I've got to say is that they have a lot of Norwegian products. It sounds like duh when I say that, but I feel like it is kind of surprising. Like when you go to the German supermarket, you see a lot of influence from other outside countries too. Don't get me wrong, most of them are like from Germany, but you're still seeing like some products from France or Italy. And when we went to France on our fun road trip, we saw a lot of products from Germany in the supermarkets and Italy as well. But here, I'm not seeing very many. Like there is a Nutella and I do see a Skippy peanut butter, which that one is a popular item for us back in the States. But other than that, like all of the other creams here are made in Norway. From like the dairy products, the seafood, the shelf stable items, I'm surprised how much is made and from Norway not other countries, even like Sweden or Denmark. Kind of surprised by that. It's actually impressive. Coming from the States where I feel like everything is imported, okay. I know that's an exaggeration. <laughs> Tanner's like, stop saying every. That's an exaggeration, but I feel like there's a lot that's imported in the States within the supermarkets, and so I'm always impressed every time we go to a European country of how much like is made within that country. And something that's really important to talk about when we compare prices or look at prices for grocery items is the average wage of Norwegians because it's going to seem like things are very expensive. In my opinion, I think they are, but what are Norwegians making? Because that really can put into perspective if it's really expensive to them or not. So I did a quick Google search and the average wage in Norway for the first quarter of 2023, so fairly recent this year, actually increased to 54,000 Norwegian kroner. If we change that to US dollar, it's about 5,355 US dollars per month. So that's per month. So keep that in mind with all of this is that Norwegians are making quite a bit compared to other people in the world. So I've never seen jam that's in this container before. That's like in a squeeze one, but that's a really fun concept. So we're here in the jam jelly section and Marissa was very convinced that she needed to buy a bottle of cloudberry um, when we were at the last store. And so she did, she bought one and it was quite a big jar and she tried it because she'd heard it's a very um, well, I mean, that you can, they only grow up here, and so she wanted to get some. And she was kind of let down by the expectations. She thought it was going to be a really nice jam, but uh, it doesn't quite meet up with her favorites like raspberry and strawberry. So you see some that they have one here. They have a lot of other fruit jams, um, apple, pear, 
raspberry, strawberry, blueberry. But uh, yeah, the flavor was, uh, I guess, different. <laughs> We had to take a little bathroom break and the cool thing is is that here you can just leave without having to like find a way to like go around the barrier or like walk behind someone as they're checking out because in Germany and in France I think they had like the little gates for the aisles that weren't being used for checkout and it always is like hard to leave if you have to go to the bathroom take your kid go to the car whatever hey so here it's just like in the States where you can just walk through in and out, which is kind of nice. They're like the breads, except I think they're stuffed, but these ones are definitely thicker. I actually was actually going to get some of those one time, so... <laughs> you know me, can't go down the cookie candy aisle without maybe tasting something. This one looks like it's maybe like a frosting or like a some sort of cream inside. I'm kind of salivating, I'm getting hungry. Don't, I'm not going to get these, but... I am going to get some food. Looks like there are about 12 of them. The cheapest is 42 so $4.30 a dozen. So we stayed one night at a really small town here in Norway. I can't even remember the name of the small store that we went into, but it still had a gummy dispenser thing. And I remember being surprised by that because the bread options were like very limited and everything was quite limited, but there was an option to just get bulk gummies. So kind of funny, it seems like they're in all the stores here and the Norwegians must love them or at least their kids must, right? So as I was saying, there's not a lot of products that we see in Germany that we see here other than I found these and I'm like, why? Why these? Because I've had these and I think they taste like cardboard personally. So it's kind of funny that they have these here, but it was fun looking at the chip section here. They have French fry chips and I've never seen that before. And there's like a big selection of Kim's, like a Kim's brand chips. And they do look really fun to try. There's like a ton of different variations. They're like the ruffled kind of chip. So Kim's kind of dominates the chip section. So Noah and I made our way back to the potato chip section and I decided on these Parmesan ones from Bondens. Uh, they sound really good. Uh -huh. And you're just trying to say hi. <laughs> Waking up from a nap and they sounded really good. And where's my Norwegian bestie? Because we tried one of these and it was actually really good. It was definitely a smash. <laughs> but there's like so many different variations. Like you buy it in candy bar form. Individual like, these kind of remind me of like a bugle, like a cone shape one or a candy bar, like a thick one. I don't know which one's better. This one was good. The, is it better? Is this one better? So right now I'm not seeing like the individual one. They always have them near the checkout stand, but it's like a really good <coughs> Kit Kat, like better. The chocolate in it's like much better than a Kit Kat that we tried in the States. Just finished up getting some shrimp before we leave. This will be nice for dinner. We found a very nice playground and park, not very far away from the store. So it's actually been but really nice. A, short drive. a very short drive, Willow wants to add. And it's been really nice because it was raining a lot earlier. Willow would like to show you her little little gummy candy that you got, huh? I got this, yeah. orange. Orange. But we wanted to showcase this is what the brown cheese looks like. It smells a little bit different than like a normal cheese would. I've also read that it can be a little um, dry and gummy. Maybe that's not quite the right term, but a little dry compared to normal, but. Caramel cheese is exactly what this tastes like. You have a lot of that creaminess of the cheese, but it's even more creamy. I'm actually not that uh, turned away from it. Very unique thing. Glad that we tried it though. Having some of the cloudberry jam. Honestly, I think I masked it enough with the butter. Yeah, it's not as strong as when I was eating it plain. So I think it kind of like mellows out the flavor and I kind of like it. It's actually like two piece. So this is a king size. It says it is from Norway. This is from the Freya brand and you see this chocolate all over. I feel like this is the main chocolate in Norway. Most of the times the chocolate bars right there um, are in yellow and I did get one of those. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm excited. So, mm. it's like a Three Musketeer. Ugh. I don't really love Three Musketeers. There's some caramel flavor in here. Kind of marshmallowy. Not a huge fan, but that's just because of preference. If you like Three Musketeers, you'd probably like this one better because there is some caramel up at the top. So before I said caramel, but I couldn't like taste it on my first bite. 
but now it's like clearly and evidently there. Um, so that's kind of fun. And I think elevates it compared to a Three Musketeer. The chocolate is better, I have to say that too. Like chocolate is better in Europe than it is in the States. This has been a really fun experience here in Norway. We didn't mention it in the first of the video, but we're here in Lillehammer, which is a resort town, like ski resort town, that the Olympics were held here in 1994, and more recently in 2016, the Youth Olympics were held here. It's a fun little place to stop by, and we're excited that we were able to come and see it here and get a little bit of good weather. This sends out this video. We hope you guys have enjoyed it, seeing a little bit about the Norwegian grocery stores as much as we did. We had a fun time almost spending about two hours in there exploring, seeing the different food options. Be sure to let us know of any other Norwegian foods that you have tried living here or visiting here that we should have tried. It's always fun to see what other people's thoughts and reactions are to some of these foods. We've definitely enjoyed it and hope you have too. Go ahead and hit that like and the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you haven't already heard, we have a Patreon community that we've started. And in that space, I'm doing videos where I'm gonna be doing cost breakdowns of all of our trips for the last few that we've done, including all of them here in Scandinavia. But not only that, we share videos about what we're brewing in our upcoming videos and travels and life in general. And we're also doing Q&A videos that you can contribute and submit some questions for us to answer. Thanks again, everyone. We'll see you in the next one.